In the months that followed the Shah's departure, the country experienced a period of euphoria. Everyone had been a revolutionary, everyone had fought to overthrow the Shah. Even our neighbor's birthmark miraculously transformed into a war wound. Our school teacher, once a fervent admirer of the Shah, instructed us to tear out all images of the royal family from our textbooks. Political rallies were sprouting up everywhere, and the domestic enemies of yesterday had become the nation's new heroes. It was within this climate of blissful chaos that one evening, Uncle Anouche came into my life. From here on out, things can only improve. Nothing can stop the will of the people. We can now build a better society based on justice and liberty. Lenin was right when he predicted the proletariat would one day prevail. Uncle Anouche, how long were you in prison? Nine years, dear. For real? Longer than Lally's dad? How old are you? Are you married? Are you a communist? Margie, give your poor uncle some time to digest. Margie's always asking questions. You're right, too. It's a good thing to be curious. Have you digested yet? Margie, that's enough. Time for bed. Why? It's all right. Why don't you get into your pajamas and I'll come tell you all about it. What do you think's going to happen with the elections? I have faith in the people. After putting up with a dictator, they'll do what it takes to preserve their freedom. Well, whatever the outcome is, it can't be worse than the show. I'm ready. You can come now. <laughs> You're in for it. She's going to eat you alive. I said I'm ready. Let's see. I'll start at the beginning. I was 18 years old when my uncle Ferry Dune and his friends proclaimed the independence of the Iranian province of Azerbaijan. Wow. Ferry Dune appointed himself Minister of Justice of this brand new little republic. Justice is the foundation of democracy. All men should be equal before the law. I soon became his secretary because we shared the same ideals. This is just the beginning, Anoush. Province by province, city by city, we shall free Iran from the Shah's dictatorship. I'm certain we will, uncle. It wasn't easy for me to stand by my uncle because my father was loyal to the Shah. My son is a traitor! You fool, follow my stupid brother, go ahead. But be warned, okay? You'll all end up with a bullet in your head. Unfortunately, my father was right. And one morning... Dear God, very doomed. I had no choice but to run away, leaving my uncle to face his destiny alone. I walked through the wind and snow. I was cold and I was hungry, but I kept on going. I crossed the Alborz Mountains and sought refuge at my parents' home in Osterov. Who dares disturb me at this ungodly hour? Oh, dear God, it's Anoush. It's our son. He's half dead, my poor boy. My beloved son. My son. My beloved son. Please forgive me. I couldn't stay. The Shah's army was looking for me. I had to go into exile. I swam all the way across the Aras River. And finally, reached the Soviet Union. What did you do when you got there? First, I went to Leningrad, and then to Moscow. I got a doctorate in Marxism-Leninism, but it was hard being so far away from my family. I missed them so much, I tried to take a train home with a fake passport, but it didn't work. They arrested me. Is that when they put you in prison? That's right. You know, the reason I'm telling you all this is that it's important that you know the history of our family. That should never be forgotten even if you don't understand everything, and even if it's painful for you. Don't worry, Uncle Anoush. I promise I won't forget. Were you married in Russia? It's past your bedtime. Get some sleep. Here, this is for you. It's made of bread. I sculpted it when I was in prison. Mm -hmm. 